Hi, I'm Keith Danik, and I'm a customer engineer on the Apogee team. Today, I want to show you how Apogee can help modernize a legacy application to enable new digital experiences. We'll look at a demo where I'm going to move a service from a legacy environment to the cloud without disruption and add a bunch of other benefits along the way. Here is a diagram that describes a problem I'm trying to solve. There's a service running in the legacy environment, and I'd like to move it into Google Cloud. I'd like to do this without disrupting the existing applications and establish a pattern that I can use for moving future services. I'll start by building a facade in Apogee. I'll make well-designed REST services that have consistent interfaces and security, and I'll map those to the backend services. I'll map the basic CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete, to the HTTP verbs post, get, put, and delete. I'll use Apogee's routing features to route traffic to the right backend services, and I'll use Apogee to manage API keys for each application and create policies in Apogee to manage the flow of traffic. Here's the goals I have for my project. First, I want to move the legacy service to the cloud with no downtime. I want to start by testing the cloud service by routing 10% of the traffic to the cloud, make sure everything's working the right way. I want to get visibility into which applications are using the service. Today, there's a single URL, we've got some logs and things like that, but I don't know which application is sending in traffic specifically. I'll add API keys in Apogee that'll identify individual applications. I want to add some rate limits to protect the services. We don't want one application calling too much. We'll add call quotas based on the partner relationship, so different partners get different quotas. I want to remove some sensitive internal data from the partner applications. And I need to add support for XML formatted data to support some of the legacy clients. If they request XML, we'll return it. I want to make it easy to onboard new applications in the future and get ready for the hundreds of partner applications I know are coming. And throughout all of this, I want to establish a reference architecture so that this can be the pattern for moving future services. Let's look at a demo and see how to build this in Apogee. Here in Apogee, I've configured two target endpoints, one for each of the different backend systems, the legacy system and the cloud system. I also have a URL here where it'll be listening for traffic to come in and be routed through Apogee. This is where I manage the request and response flow. I'll put different policies in here to affect how the traffic flows. The first one checks for an API key. The next is a spike arrest to prevent too much traffic from coming in. And then there's a business related quota that's going to limit the number of calls depending on who's calling. The next two are what we're going to use specifically for routing. Apogee has a key value map, and inside of there I store important values. I've put a probability in there that I'm going to use to determine how much traffic goes to the cloud and how much goes to the legacy system. So this looks up that value, and then we're going to have some JavaScript in here to randomly set a flag, and that flag will determine whether we get routed to the cloud or the legacy system. Let's look at how that works. In this JavaScript policy, we see there's some code referenced here. So here's our code for generating a random number and then checking to see if it's past the threshold and setting a flag to true if it is. So test group will be set to true if we're in the test group. Down here we have some route rules. Route rules let us configure where the traffic should be routed in Apogee. You can have multiple different backends and you can route to different ones using some of these rules. I've got two backend systems in here. I have the cloud system and the legacy system. If the condition test group equals to true, this rule will be true and will be routed to the cloud backend. That gives us a 10% chance in this case of being routed to cloud. There were a few more goals I had for this and we can see those on the response side. One goal was to remove sensitive data. So there's a particular field in there that I wanna take out. I've got some JavaScript in here to remove a sales group. So there's a particular field called sales group. I wanna delete that from the JSON that comes back. If there's an accept header on the request equal to application slash XML, this policy will fire and it'll convert from JSON to XML and return the data in XML format to those clients who need it. I can build a custom report in Apogee to see how much traffic is going to the legacy environment and how much is going to the cloud. I can click through on each metric and get more details. This shows me traffic from each of the applications and I get an idea of who's sending the traffic into the system. One of the other goals was to make it easy to onboard new partners. I've created a developer portal in Apigee, and this provides complete self-service for people who want to write applications using the APIs that I've provided. They can come in here, they can read documentation about how the APIs work, they can try them out, and they can sign up and get credentials. That was a quick demo about how we might use Apigee to modernize a legacy service and move it up to the cloud, and add a bunch of stuff along the way. Thanks for watching today.